<laughs> hey guys, what's up? Thanks for coming by the old base camp. Uh, Miss Daisy got me something. Yeah, she bought me a gift. I told her. I saw this thing at my son's place because he bought one. And when I saw this thing, he showed me the features on this thing. I said, that is a cool tool right there. I said, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't put that on the street. So I no, uh, uh. I said I like this because I can get back in the woods with it. And a lot of these like management areas and whatnot, they have a parking area, and then you got to take all your gear, your hunt, your your gun, your bow, whatever, your tree stand, and walk it on in there. Uh, you know, it kind of takes the fun out of it, but with this tool you can you can take bikes in and they don't mind e-bikes so when i saw this thing i said i gotta have one and for the money they're not bad priced we're only talking about a grand of course we got a couple extra bells and whistles on this puppy so it's a little over that but I told Miss Daisy, I gotta have it. She said, you got, you know, you're always wanting things. You always want things. I said, yeah, well, you know, I work hard for it, you know. And I said, you know, there is Father's Day coming and um, there is a birthday. I got a birthday in May, Father's Day's coming. And then, you know, yeah, yeah, well, yeah, you get you get this stuff and then the next thing you know, you, Christmas is coming and, and you order up stuff months ahead of Christmas and by the time Christmas is done then you're into the next year I said yeah that's pretty much how it rolls I said I always get you things whenever you want something I always pull through and I get it for you so you know so here is the new toy for Steve -O right here look at this thing guys huh look at this thing look at the tires on this thing okay Look at the size of these tires. Guys, this thing will go through sand, grass, whatever. This is an upgraded light, by the way. He said, Dad, you're going to be coming in and out in, in the woods in the dark. I said, yep, yep. He said, all right, we're going to get you the upgraded light. Got suspension on the front fork suspension. Yep, you can change the height of this handlebars too with these levers okay I got a nice helmet to go with this thing too nice helmet got a saddle bag to go on this thing these drop down actually you unzip these and these fall down you got a saddle bag on each side uh yeah there's a drink holder here they make a cart for these too you can hook on a two-wheel cart back here throw your tree stand in it whatnot I'm gonna have to come up with something up here on the handlebars for a bow gun type rack on this thing yep disc brakes guys disc brakes front and back this thing folds in half guys you can take this thing and lift this lever up right here you see there's a hinge right here heavy duty hinge this lever flips up and you can fold this bike in half and put it in your trunk yeah this seat is an upgraded seat but i don't like it it's a cloud nine seat and it's got some sort of memory foam and stuff in it but they make it fatter it's just i don't know maybe my ass is too bony i don't know but this is not comfortable they do make a a wider seat and it's got actually dished out where your your butt cheeks go on it. I'm thinking about that about a $36 seat on it. So I had to show off my new toy guys. This thing hauls ass. I took it out on the main road out here. I had it in first gear. I had it in first gear over here. That's where the gearing in the back, right? And I put it in pedal assist. I'll show you this in a minute. Pedal assist one. 
that's all the faster I'd need this thing. I, I got up to 19.3 miles an hour on this main road out here. But my son tells me, he said, Dad, put this thing in pedal assist three and crank it up to about five or six on the gears. He said, he said, I got 28 miles an hour out of this thing. I said, oh, oh, trust me. No, no, Steve, oh, it's not going 28 mile an hour. I said, 19 mile an hour uh, is plenty on this thing, okay? And for me, cruising through the woods, even, even guys with the lowest speed, that would be in one with pedal assist one, and you just touch those pedals and you're going five miles an hour too fast right here is the throttle on this puppy right here right here see this little thing so you can put your hand here and just have your index finger and thumb here and just crack this slowly and you can creep with this thing uh one two three mile an hour or you can just throttle it back and shoot on up to 19 mile an hour when you're mounting and dismounting this thing, let me, just a little safety deal here, pay attention. When you're mounting and, and dismounting, make sure you click down with this button right here to no pedal assist. Because if you come off of this bike and accidentally hit this thing as you're dismounting, this thing will career up and come right out from under you. Now a friend of his, they're always, they have a pair of these and they're down on the beach all the time. And you know, at your crosswalks, you come up there, there's a pole and a button, right? To hit the button so you can cross. Well, apparently they came up and she was on her bike and she went up and grabbed the pole with one hand. Apparently her left hand grabbed the pole to hit the light. And when she did, for whatever reason, she automatically hit the throttle the thing came flipping clear up she came off of it and smashed her smashed her knee on the on the asphalt or concrete sidewalk whatever and busted her knee wide open so pay attention on this stuff you you gotta this thing can get away from you okay it's got when you touch that i mean it's so responsive that's a big ass motor on the back of this thing they actually make these with a motor a motor front and back and I have no clue how fast they go, but this bike is God's plenty for me, whatever. But yeah, eventually I might get the cart to where I put a three stand in it. I can throw a deer and ass, ass into this thing. A, ho a hog. Shoot small pigs, guys. Don't don't be slamming 200 pound hogs now. Let them ride. Get the, get the 40, 50 pounders. They eat great. And that way you can throw them in your basket and haul ass with it. But anyway, the batteries in here, big ass lithium battery goes in this tube right here. Actually, when you break it apart here and fold it around, you can unlock the uh, key and that battery will slide out of there. Supposedly, you're going to get five, mi uh, five years out of the battery on these these bikes supposedly just normal running will last you probably 10 years or more i don't know that's i went online and checked it out but anyway here's the key on this thing hello right right here is the key on this thing guys right here this turns it on turn it off here So yeah, we're gonna turn it on. We're gonna turn it on. And you come over here and you hit this button right here. See the button here? You got negative, positive. You put this, hold this button down. Your display comes up. Now you can click through. You can check your battery on this thing. Right here, I've got 53. I've charged it up the first night we got it. 53 volt. I think it's 50, I think six or eight. I ran this thing for a good half an hour and it dropped to 53. My son's telling me don't, don't recharge it until you hit say uh, 48 or lower. This thing is, he said, will be dead as a donut on 42.
So he said, just, he said, you see this bar up here? That's the energy bar. He said, do not go by that little energy bar. The energy bar says it's way up here, full charge, right? Well, you're basically not far from full charge right now, all right? So yeah, it's got your speed on it. This is really cool stuff. Now, if you take and hold down the uh, positive button, the headlight will come on. So you can get that on, right? But yeah, see here, here's your button here and a positive. See, now I'm on, on one plus two, so that's three, so that's four, so five, so that's five. So that's as fast pedal assist is that's the highest go. But trust me, guys, one is God's yeah, plenty. Now, when you hit one right here and you hit the throttle, see this? She wants to go, all right, when you hit that. To change gears, you just push this button here. When you want to downshift, you just push it back with the thumb this way. That's all there is to it. Here's your, here's your front brake. Here's your back brake. And that's pretty much your, your modes here on this. There, I went to pedal assist zero. Now you get nothing. You get no action. A computer shut down. It's just a regular bicycle. Okay. In here, I've got a uh, bicycle pump in there. There is, I think these are tube tires, but they're shot with, also shot up with uh, some kind of ooey gooey in them in case you get a hole poked in. It, it, they turn into a slow leaker. So if you're out there in the boondocks, you start getting a low tire, you can grab your pump and pump it up and cripple your way back in, right? So, I don't know. He said this thing will fit inside a 50-gallon tote. And he said, suggest that I, because the bike, there's a handle right here, guys. See this handle right here? This thing isn't bad for me. See, I'm lifting this thing up with one hand. It weighs 70, weighs 70 pounds, plus or minus, I don't know. But I could put this in the back of my vehicle, my little 99 Ranger, and uh, come up, I'm gonna come up with something. Well, I see some of the guys, you got the pinnel hitch thing in the back. They put bike holders in the back of the truck. You take off the hitch, you slide it in, and you can put a double bike deal in the back this thing actually is as wide i measured it from t outside of tire to outside of tire and that's just about identi identical with the width of that 99 ranger <clears throat> so you know uh now to shut this off and just hold the button it's off done so yeah it's pretty cool the seat the seat also, guys, for raising and lower, it's just a flip arm here. Same for same for the uh, same for this uh, handlebars. The height of the handlebars. And I think I'm a touch. He said, my son said, he said once you you get on the bike, have that pedal all the way down and put your put your foot on it. And he said, you want your, your leg cocked to adjust it. Just cock your leg just slightly. But I find that I'm almost on, doing that, I'm almost on my tiptoes with this thing. I think I'm going to lower the seat. I'm going to lower these handlebars. I think it's going to make a little bit more comfortable ride. But yeah, this thing was nine nine ninety nine, dollars And they were running specials on this. This bike is made in Arizona. I think they do all the all the fabrication on it in Arizona, so it's American bike. I'm sure the components are all China components, you know. But the bike is, from what I understand, is welded up and built in Arizona. So you gotta love that. So this should be a cool tool. We can do some scouting on these management areas. Most of these management areas you can go in year round. 
Uh, there's no hunt special hunts going on. But for us old farts like Steve-O, we don't, once you hit 65 in Florida, you go to your courthouse, your, where you get your licenses, and they'll issue you a card, the old fart card, and you no longer have to buy a hunting or fishing license once you hit 65. So there's another incentive to come to Ron DeSantis's uh, state of Florida. And uh, yeah, so they did that way before Ron got in office, by the way. But so that's kind of a good thing. You still, if you duck hunt, which I don't duck hunt anymore, and federal stuff, and then there's a couple of special fish stamps and whatnot, you have to buy those extra. But you don't need a hunt and fishing license. Just have that green card or your or your driver's license, really. I mean, they see your age. They say, well, you're exempt from anything. So, so this would be cool. We can get into some of these management areas, do a lot of scouting, and by the dime you know if you if you get get some scout find some good spots of course when you get set up in these management or you find an excellent spot and you get all tucked into your spot and all that and the day that you get ready to crawl in the stand there'll be probably five or six people around you you know wanting to because they've probably seen your tree stand already in there and so this must be a good spot and so they come in and set up right next to you yeah and swat mosquitoes. I love it too. You go in there and they're swatting mosquitoes and making all kind of noise. They don't, they're too cheap to buy a thermocell and set up beside them. You go in these Florida management area guys, you better buy have two thermocells on you. And um, uh, because you're going to be in a wall of bugs, okay? But a lot of the cheap guys, they don't get thermocells. They just sit there and slap bugs while you're trying to hunt. So it kind of takes away from the whole you know the whole deal you know so if you're so if you're one of those guys just stop that doing that okay and, and pull your head out of your backside and get you a thermocell and and be quiet when you're in the woods but this thing will be so cool because i can slip down trails with this thing my buddy and i he had a, a four-wheeler honda and that thing would just went pop 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 we'd go down those trails slipping down these trails and stuff you know on on two tracks they don't let you just drive all over the place, and that's going to be about the same thing with this thing. You're not going to be able to just drive all over the woods with this thing. But you can take the trails, and you probably can go down some fire breaks with it, you know. But uh, you probably they're probably going to have you keep stay on the on the two tracks. But during the day, during the middle of the day after the hunting's over with, you can motor around and look for spots. But if you're running around on this thing with the headlight on, on these trails and stuff, you're just going to do nothing but piss off other hunters. So work this accordingly, okay? Use some common sense. Uh, when hunting is going on, that's, at, that's before daybreak till about, you know, 10 o'clock. And then there's a break in there at noon, and then most of the hunters go back in about 3 in the afternoon and set up till after dark. But, you know after dark you, you need to get your ass out of there and i got a nice headlight here there is there is mounting brackets here right here these four you can put a basket they have baskets you can put on there um different accessory i don't know if that'll affect that light or not that light may have to it's mounted this light is mounted here This might light is mounted there on that bracket. So there must be a way, the way they got this rig to where the light, maybe the light will mount to the basket. I'm not sure. Cross that bridge when I come to it. But, but there she is. There she is. That's the craziest looking chain on a bike I've ever seen in my life, guys. That's the craziest looking. Check that chain out, guys. Is that wild or what? Thin little chain on it. I guess that's plenty suffice. Yeah. There's the saddlebag, the little pouch. My son got me that. He puts 
you know, some Allen wrenches. You got a lot of the stuff is Allen wrenches. He throws some of those in there and whatnot. And the bicycle pump is is about mandatory on it. In case you get in trouble, you poke a little hole in this thing. Otherwise, you're going to be... I would think it'd be a real chore pushing this out of the woods on it with a flat tire. Yeah. Okay, guys. That's it for today. Martin's supposed to be calling me in a little bit. And he said, uh, you're going to be coming over this afternoon. He's getting another round of queen cells. He put in, uh, 40 something, 44, I think. And he ended up getting 40 cells and they're in the incubator and they should be hatching off pretty quick here. And, um, Chris, Chris Werner stock is what it actually comes from. It's a cross between it's Caucasian Italian Carniolian. He showed me, sent me an email yesterday on a great big, great big old black, black uh, uh, Caucasian queen that just hatched, and she's in there. Big queen. That's one of his queens. So we'll see. Uh, He's got to have extra cells, and he's reloading, I think he said 30. He's going to put in 30 more graphs today. So he's over there tuning that up now, and he's going to give me a jingle this afternoon. i got to get over there and pick that up. We'll load those in the incubator, whatever he's got, and he's surplus. And uh, as soon as they hatch, we're going to be out back here ripping some hives apart and salvaging what we can. I've got more customers ringing the horn, want more hives. Uh... I guess my name's getting out there that I've got the cheapest bees in the USA and so they're getting hold of me wanting more you know wanting bees so I'm gonna try to keep as keep many as I can going but we'll just play it by ear and uh, put out what we can that's all I'll see you guys on the next one be happy be strong keep getting it on oh I got one more thing to tell you <sighs> The wife, the day she ordered this, the day before she, we got it, this bike. She came in there. She was mad as a hornet. She was mad. Miss Daisy was mad. She don't get pissed off very often. Well, I take that back. If I, if I get her going, she gets, you know. But, doggone, every time I order something, something's screwed up. I think it gets screwed up all the time. I said, what the heck's going on? What's wrong? What did you order? I can't tell you. You can't tell me. Now, I'd been talking about this bike, you know, off and on for a month or two. And she, oh, I can't tell you. I said, oh, okay. Well, they've screwed it up. It's over here. Is it, they've lost it or something. I said, by chance, wouldn't, would that not be a uh, an e-bike? She looked at me, guys, just as poker faced and straight she said e-bike no it's not an e-bike i said well then what is it i can't tell you i can't that's all she'd say i can't tell you oh okay okay so i let it go i was on the computer when she came by all pissed off she actually she said the guy was by and said he delivered it and nobody was home he said we've been here all the time what do you mean nobody's home so she was on a horn, getting on somebody, I don't know who. And she said, get in the truck and go around the block and look for a FedEx truck. I said, what? So I did. I got in the truck and went all the way around the horn. I'm running around this neighborhood like looking for a FedEx truck that don't exist. The truck was in Tampa, all right? It didn't exist. So I get back. I said, I'm tired of this chicken running around. What? What is it you, you've you ordered? I can't tell you. Okay, so I'm sitting there at the computer, and she f fuming and went on, did something else. So I called my son. Oh, I had to take Miss Daisy somewhere, and I was waiting for, for her to get out of the store. And I said, I'm going to call my son. So they were running around. He had the family in the car, and they're running around doing projects, doing different things. And he had my little granddaughter, 11-year-old granddaughter, in the back seat. And uh, 
I said, Adam, you know, your mother's in here all upset. She ordered something. And I think you know what it is because I heard you, her talking to you on the phone a while ago. He goes, uh, 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 uh. See, this is, was a surprise. This was a surprise. So I said, you know, I said, in, in my little, he said, I have no clue what she ordered. I said, well, in my little, an old Pop Pop's pea brain, okay, in my pea brain, I've got a hunch it's a e-bike. He goes, oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. He said, it was some kind of decoration junk. I have no clue what she ordered. Some kind of decoration crap. Oh, okay. So she had to call you and, and verify that. The, that, that they screwed the order up on some kind of decoration. I don't know, Dad. You, you just, you'll know when you see it, I guess. I said, okay, have a nice day. We hung up. So my little granddaughter sitting in the back seat, she said, Daddy, she calls me Pop Pop. Daddy, I think Pop Pop with his little pea brain is spot on. See, every time I see that little girl, I've got to grab her. She's so cute, i got to grab her and give her a kiss on the cheek. She is so cute. So I had to pass that little story along that goes along with this ride. And they fixed up old Pop Pop. God bless them all. I'll see you guys on the next one. Be happy. Be strong. we got to keep getting her on. See ya.